Prison ain't shit. Yeah. I'm all fucking rats. Prison ain't shit. All you got to do is fight and talk right. shit and smoke weed. Yep. Yeah. Wow, what's hell, man? It's your boy, HB Jizzle, man. We back with another video, you heard me? Look, man, today, man, we finna talk about what LaBoosie just said about prison ain't nothing, you heard me? Is that true or is, or is he just talking, you heard me? So we finna gonna get into that, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You heard me? It's your boy, HB Jizzle, man. Let's gonna get into the video. I did chill my bun, I'm on the run again. You know I'm down bad, I'm bad fucking with Swan again. Fuck a bitch, man, I never fall in love again. I'm going crazy. All right, man, so we finna talk about what Labusi just said, man. He talking about prison really ain't nothing. Ain't nothing but a bunch of rats and nothing, stuff like that. I mean, yeah and no at the same time, man. It depends on what type of time you on, you heard me? Or it depends on what prison you at. You know, Boosie been in Angola, uh, DCI, uh, Hunts, all that. So, he been in some real tough prisons, man. But uh, to tell you the truth, you know, I, I kind of agree with what he say because it really ain't nothing if you mind your business and stuff like that. If you stay out the way, you just do you. Don't be getting people business. Don't be trying to gamble. Gamble is a gambling is a big way to you know have a, a fight or stabbing and all that stuff. Uh, getting people business, cell phone carrier man. Cause people I know in Louisiana they they'll take your cell phone if you didn't really like that. So you gotta worry about that. So it all depends about what you getting yourself into. If you into the stuff that causes the problems, of course you gonna have problems enough. But if you like like the old heads, you, you don't really see too many old heads back there stabbing and fighting and stuff like that, because they they out the way, they stand out the way. But as soon as you try to come and get in somebody's business, try to step over some toes, you know, selling drugs, um, anything that's you doing in there that's illegal, you know what I mean? Just like on the street, it's chance of violence, and you know, and that's what come with it, you know, especially, especially like say say um uh, say you walk in a dorm. And and you and you kill somebody cousin that's in that dorm. What you think is gonna happen when you get in that dorm? It's it's gonna be some it's gonna be some crazy because you 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 hurt my people. I gotta you know, I, I caught you in jail. I gotta see you. You ever ain't no guns in here. So yeah, we gotta see. And uh, I know Louisiana man. They tell you come on come to the back. Bring something to work with. That's how I go talk. They bring come to the back. Bring something to work with. Which they talking about a knife. You hear me? So. Yeah, man, that's how that's how they coming back though, man. And it, 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 it's not no sneaking and none of that. They tell you, bring you something to work with, give you a fat chance and all that. You heard me? You better just you just better know how to use it. You heard me? So yeah, man, it could it can be dangerous and it can be dangerous. So what he's saying, yeah, but um, it really ain't nothing though, man. The, like, now that I think about it, it really ain't too much. Bad, cause I mean, when I was young, I wanted to go and see how bad my, how bad people was in there, cause I feel like nobody could whoop me. You heard me? I feel like I'm one of the realest people out here, man. I just need my respect, man. I I know I can, I man. I know I, I'm looking at these dudes, man. They can't fight. They can't. They ain't, they ain't really like that. So I'm thinking, man, if, if I go in, there, I never had no problems. And but you know, it's a different story when you get in there. I did have some problems. I got stabbed right, right here in my face when I was uh. Uh, my first jokes around when I was like 19, something like that. Um, I beat a nigga, I beat a nigga up real, real bad. You hear me? And uh, he ended up stabbing, stabbing me in my sleep. You hear me? Um, uh, I got a video on that. I probably redo that video too, though. But yeah, man, it just you know I was into some stuff around that time, and you know it's it all part of the game. You know, I guess he figured he couldn't whoop me, so he got to, he had to sleep me in my sleep. But you know, it ain't no rules in it. I should have known. I should have stayed on them until people came and separated us and so yeah but you know it is what it is i ain't run you know but um yeah man prison can be dangerous and it can't be dangerous it really just depends on what you went to that's my opinion man if y'all got a different opinion man y'all let me know you know what i mean but i ain't gonna lie man california prisons look like it's like i'll be listening to y'all stories and shit like that man california prisons seem like they yeah you know what i mean i ain't gonna lie i'd be a little nervous walking on that yard you know what i mean but uh yeah, but right, man, you know, but I'm pretty sure all prison the same, man. Just mind your business, stay out of people's way, respect, and all that, man. You you a survivor, bro. You will be able to come home without a scratch on you. But yeah, man, it's your boy, it's be Jizzle, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. 
Yeah, man, I'm out.